All right, I'm a sucker for a Ford 5.0. I bought a 95 Mustang GT at a dealer auction. I know nothing about this car. You guys are gonna see it firsthand just like I did. It was running through the lanes. I couldn't resist. This thing looks rough. Here it is, right here. My 80,000 mile 1995 Ford Mustang GT. Today's video, we're gonna bring this thing back to life. See what we have to do to make Sounds pretty good. See what we have to do to make this thing presentable, and then we're gonna try to sell it for a profit. Now we can go rolling in my 5.0. I love giving stuff away. Today's video is sponsored by the current mobile banking app, and one of you is gonna win $150, and I'm gonna tell you how a little bit later. There's a Mustang going through auction in just a second. I haven't even seen this thing out there, so I'm gonna go bid on it right now and see if I end up with it. I know nothing about this thing. I'm not allowed to have the camera in the auction that you're bidding. This thing is up next, so I'm gonna have to turn out here and see if I can end up with this thing. I haven't even looked at it yet, aside from 10 seconds outside the lane, way out there, because I didn't know it was here today. I go up to two grand on it. Anything under that, I think, is gonna be a great deal, and it'll be a fun project. Yeah. yeah. I bid right now. $1,200, oh my god, that'd be a freaking steal. And I'm 12, you can be 13, 14. Stop bidding. Stop bidding. Yes. Yes. My bidder right now. <laughs> I bought the Mustang. Now, if you know me, you know I can look past the ugly. That is ugly. That is ugly. But 80,000 miles, there was somebody so no. There was a driver sitting in this seat. So he was covering all of this. Oh. And then the passenger, I'm sure, is pretty ugly too. So my name is Craig from Flying Wheels, and today I'm at an auction. You guys are with me, and we bought a 95 Mustang GT, pretty much sight unseen. I mean, I had about 15 seconds from the time I saw it in the lane up there till the time I raised my hand, bid on it, and won. Now, the cool thing about the 95 Mustang GT is the second year of this body style. This body style came out in 1994 and changed from that, that square body, Fox body Mustang to these ones. Only had the five liter, five liter in 94 and 95 until they switched to the four six in 96. This Mustang, I think can be pretty cool. And as we're looking at it, like what is that? A BBK intake, yeah. alternator looks recent, serpentine belts cracked, 5.0 engine, those things are indestructible. I had a five liter drift car when I first got into drifting and it was an absolute blast. And the thing used to overheat and still just keep running and running with that cast iron block. All right, headlights, hazy. Wheels, why are they black? Dirty. This, with this pearless, pearlescent, translucent, whatever you call this color, that's gonna be hard to match. Now, I think most of this can buff out. You're only getting these taillights in 94 and 95. 96, they went to the tri taillights side by side instead of road top to bottom. Supreme suspensions. Now, while I was going through the auction, I did climb underneath it and took a look at it from here. And it seems to be pretty solid. It's a stock exhaust. Floorboards are in pretty good shape. I don't know, those look like aftermarket mufflers. Pop, want to start this thing up? I don't know if it needed a jump. I don't know if it has low oil pressure. I don't know if it has a, doesn't have a tick or anything. At least I know that. So what I like is it's not rotted down here. I love these things. And I think this is gonna be fun. These are the cars that make me love my job. Pop, give it some gas. Let's hear that five liter roar. Ooh, bubble, bubble. Yeah. I don't know that guy. You haven't been watching my videos long enough. That is my grandfather, Papa Al. He came to join me at the auction today to keep me company, and we're gonna drive these things back. Is the trunk button right there? No? Is it right here? There it is. Forgot about that. Books were in there, that's promising. Now, 80,000 miles in this Ford Mustang. That is, that is the appeal. Look at that, the trunk opened up smoothly. It stays open, clean, I mean, dirty, filthy, but clean rust-wise here. Let's check the floors. Oh, dry, no rust, no rot. Pop, I think we have a winner. Yeah. Might have scored on this one. I am gonna bring this thing back to life. All right, and once again, it's my favorite time of the video. I get to give away something to some of you guys. Today's video is brought to you by Current Mobile Banking App, 
where they give you a 4% APY. It's like 60 times more of a return than you get anywhere else. We're gonna give $150 to one of you lucky winners just for watching this video and downloading the current mobile banking app so you can try it out for yourself. Check out this cup holder. Oh, I mean ashtray. Who remembers these? Dogmatic. Too bad it's not a five speed. It does have the aftermarket radio. 80,000 miles is the thing that appealed me to this car and it has a title. Now I live in New Hampshire, stayed in New Hampshire anything over 20 years. They don't do titles, they do registration only. This car came from Massachusetts, has a current Massachusetts inspection sticker and a title stating that's the actual mileage, which is amazing. What do we have here? Like a Viper style remote, remote starter. Bob, this is you. Yeah. Let's sell that T-Bird and you can have this. No, no, I'm all set, thank you. Now we bought a couple other cars, let's go check All out. Right. There is one that crossed my mind, caught my eye that I really, really wanted, but there's something about it that turned me away. This is a six liter GTO with a six speed manual transmission. That is a T56 six speed transmission in there. Six liter LS2, 405 horsepower. This car is awesome. There's only one issue with it, and that's the reason I stayed away from it, is transmission fluid. Now that is a small puddle. I think it's because there's no more transmission fluid left. When I looked at this car this morning, there was transmission fluid pouring all over the ground. So I stayed away from the GTO reluctantly, but those things, I mean, I think that thing sold for a crazy amount of money. Like what's your highest guess? Probably still more than that. Tell me what you think a GTO with a six liter is worth because you'd be amazed at what it sold for. I have an if on a Silverado. What does an if mean? If means I was the highest bidder, but it didn't meet the seller's reserve. They have two hours to accept my bid. I have two hours to wait and then I can cancel the sale. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this Mustang. Here's my Silverado if it's a 2014 with 123,000 miles. The reason I'm looking at it right now is because it probably has a bad transmission. These eight speed transmissions are absolutely terrible, but it is clean. No check engine light. It does smell like the devil's lettuce in here though. Seems okay to me. You know, they say 99% of the accidents happen on the road closest to your house within 10 miles. I screwed it up, but what movie is that from? The car makes me really happy. That car, ironically, is what makes me like my job. Even more than the Aston Martins and the Bentleys, it's the $1,700 Mustangs that make me smile. All right, let's go look at the Cadillac Escalade. All right, if you've already been subscribing, you know I love Cadillac Escalade ESVs. I have three kids and a wife, and these things have a 6.2 liter, four and five horsepower monster of an engine. This is a 2011 Escalade ESV, 190,000 miles. Does not scare me in this body style, in this generation. I paid $7,500 for it. It is easily a 12 to $15,000 car. Great family vehicle, super reliable, even with high miles. What else did I buy? Let's keep moving on. Here is my second purchase of the day. This thing, I have a feeling, is going to be an absolute disaster for me. It's a 2008 Cadillac CTS4. You can see the rust bubble there. Has 152,000 miles. I would normally never buy these things. Why did I buy it? You want to know really why? It's because I paid $950 for it. $950 for it. Plus auction fee, so I probably own it for like $1,200. But there's no key. What the heck? Somebody locked the key in it. This is our third purchase. 2012 Jeep Wrangler Sahara, triple white like a stormtrooper. These are my favorite Jeeps. Ah, oh, we got leather. Oh man, it's a standard transmission. I need to start looking at these cars better. The problem at the auction is everything is so fast paced. Nice. Has the soft top in the back. Looks like somebody had a heck of a hairy dog. Wow, I have never seen so much dog hair cake to a car. Cool though, this is, a, I love Jeeps. It's Jeep season like in a month, so. We'll do really, really well with this. Now I checked the Carfax on it. It's one owner, clean title, no accidents. Sahara with heated seats in triple white. Doesn't even matter that it has 142,000 miles. 2012, you get the new engine, the 3.6. 2011, you got the newer interior. So this is a newer body style, newer engine, Jeep Wrangler with all the options. This one is a score. All right, question for you all. This rack, is to be honest with you pretty ugly it might hurt the resale for me it's bolted on here easily removable it's bolted on here easily removable i think do i keep it or do i remove it i think just having a stock white jeep is better and i can sell this separately 
What do you guys think? Keep it on or remove it and sell it and then have just a stock white Jeep? Here we go. We got a locked car. We got a dead battery. We got keys locked in it. Oh, we got a very dead battery. Working two jump packs on getting this thing running right now. Close. All right, we got it running. Actually, Papa Al got it running off a of Kubota and a jump pack. Now we're up on the trailer, but I'm stuck in here. I think I might just leave this thing running all the way back to my shop because I don't feel like getting this thing started again when I get there. Pop, hold this. I'll just, all right, let me get you. All right, let's load her up and get the heck out of here. So we're gonna drive the Mustang back to my shop, which means we need to check all fluids, make sure it's safe enough to drive back to the shop. Has a car inspection sticker, meaning it's been on the road somewhat recently, like in the past year. That feels like it has a lot of pressure, doesn't it? Sounds good. Healthy. Yeah. I knew that was coming. Look at these little baby exhaust tips. You wanna take the Mustang, you take the Mustang. But I wanna see a burnout as you leave. No, Don't drive over the rocks. He's gonna drive over the rocks. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I really like that car. I'm a sucker for Cohen Rose and Manicure Toe. Wait a minute. That's not what I meant to say. I'm a sucker for old Mustangs. No one's gonna get that reference. How'd, how'd it run all the way back here? Real good, but I checked the motor mouth. When you step on the throttle, you got a little clump. Like maybe the rear of the transmission is picking up, hitting the wheel board. Good to know. Thank you very much. All right, come check out your newest project. I think you'll be pleased with it. <laughs> 80,000 miles on this. And it is a project. Got to change the wheel board. Got to change the I thought the exact same thing. Go right back to I just wanted to look stock again. This is where I need you and your contacts. So I'm thinking, you know, you got like those OG, like Hispanic guys that are really good at upholstery. I feel like you, you can bring them to the right person and have this done. For sure. Just the front seats, both fronts, mm -hmm. have them done, make them look brand new. My question to you is over here too. Do you think you can bring those back or do I have to get new ones? Ooh, that looks maybe just... Yeah, look at what your finger did. Jeez. And even like... If I... Do that right there. Look at that. That right there says a lot about the condition of this car. I'm thinking... Just wet sand this. And maybe try to clear it. And see what happens because we're not going to ever match that. It's yeah, 25 year old tri quad coat paint or something. Tires look like they've been recently replaced. The big thing is like rust wise, all the spots it would normally rust is solid. We'll have our mechanic go through it first and then he can tell us there's a couple clunks in the front. Strut towers, perfect. This isn't a typical New England car from 95. We had a little bit of coolant down here I noticed, so maybe thermostat leaking. I'm gonna clean all that up and then we can paint the plenum. Remember what this looks like right now because it is not gonna look like this when we're finished. I just feel like between you and me, the stuff that you can do, the stuff that I can do, this will be a winner. You know what's funny? I am more excited about this car than I am about that car or that car. It's the cheapies that I really enjoy. It's funny because I told you, no Mustangs. We haven't had a Mustang in a while. You're right. Dave found something kind of interesting. We thank you now. What are you listening to in here? Orson Welles, War of the World. <laughs> if you pry that CD out, is it a burned CD? Would you mind checking? I bet it is. 
It is. Look at War of the Worlds uh, on a burned CDR. Who's old enough to remember burning CDs? I am. That was my high school right there. A book full of burned CDs. Rap mix, hip hop mix, 90s summer mix. Anybody else or am I alone here? All right, let's see how the underneath of this thing actually is. We have rusty rear bumper supports, but it's not terrible, no rot. Gas tank straps are good. Rear axle, solid rear axle is good. Dual exhaust to what type of mufflers are these? No name. Oh, wait a minute, cherry bombs. We got some cherry bombs on it. Not the appropriate size, but it doesn't look like there's any loose leaking joints. Floors are solid all the way down. Love it, I love it, love it. Factory catalytic converter here, factory resonator here. A little crusty suspension components, probably the originals. Ball joint looks pretty toasted. I don't know, we'll see how much play there is. Subframe's good, not an insane amount of leaking oil. We'll do an oil change, obviously. We have the bushings are mm, a little dry rotted, to be expected. Stabilizer links are good. Rot wise though, we have ourselves a gem. This is pretty solid for a 30 year old car. Nice. Tires are, look like they're brand new. Sneak preview to next video because you can kind of already see how nice this Mustang is coming out. I'm taking off for a couple days. I'm leaving you in charge. You see anything cool, you do anything cool, video it. Bring this thing back to life. I feel like you have the magic touch to a car that has the potential. And in the next video, we're going to show you everything we did to it and how nice this car is coming out. And coming soon, we're going to have some updates on our $3,000 auction Nissan 350Z. You can see it's pretty ugly. And way back there is our Aston Martin, which is actually live on Cars and Bids. So coming soon, we're going to see if we actually sold it and made some money on Cars and Bids, unlike the Bentley from a few weeks ago. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later and subscribe if you haven't subscribed always as a favor to me. If you hit that thumbs up button, it just helps me out, helps my videos improve with the algorithm. So click the thumbs up button for me too. Oh, and a special thanks to today's sponsor, Current Mobile Banking app, the banking of the future. You can set up your direct deposits with, it helps you find free ATMs all over the country. And it even gives you notifications on your phone for your spending. It's a pretty cool app, check it out. Remember they're giving $150 away to somebody that signs up. One of you guys are gonna win 150 bucks. All you have to do is sign up and click the video and type in down below, Current Mobile Banking. I'll see you guys all later. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and the next one will be part two where we bring this thing back to life. So make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications every time we make a new video. We'll see y'all later.